Hey everybody, let's talk about the new episode of The Real Housewives of Potomac, Season 7, Episode 12. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, well what a better way to start off the year with a Real Housewives of Potomac new episode this week. I also want to wish everybody a Happy New Year and I'm sending everybody blessings. But let's get right into this episode. Okay, so we begin the episode where Karen and Ray are going to the Improv Center because they're getting ready for that the Grand Dame show. So they're talking with Matt, they're going over the program and... Karen wants to make sure that her show is going to be nothing like Giselle's or Robin's disaster show. So she wants to make sure that the performances, that everything goes well. So that's what they talk about. And I didn't realize how hilarious Ray and Karen are together. They are super funny. Then we see Mia. She's in her house and she's having like a family scene with her kids and her husband there reading like a bedtime story to their kids before they go to bed but then Jacqueline decides to stop by after work so they put the kids to sleep and Gordon and Mia go down to greet Jacqueline and you know they start joking around kind of awkwardly about all all the situation I mean Mia even said that Jacqueline was like their sister wife but without benefits so again it's this really weird thing that we've been seeing throughout the whole season But once they begin to talk, Jacqueline brings up all the questions that Giselle had for her regarding their relationship, uh, Mia and Gordon and hers. Jacqueline says that she was really taken aback. All the questions about if they showered together, um, how they knew each other, all of this. One comment, though, that I feel that Mia said that is like really bothering Jacqueline, even though she's not really saying it, is the one about the car where Mia had said when they were in their trip she said that oh I'm winning she's winning whatever it made it sound as if Mia was buying for her stuff even though Jacqueline made it really clear that she has a job so that Porsche that she has she actually bought it but she also says that there are so many layers to their friendship that come from childhood and everything they've experienced that she feels like the other women will never be able to really understand that friendship Moving along, Ashley is hanging out with a group of friends. These are friends that she doesn't normally show on the show, but they did come with her to the Spring Fling that was the premiere of the season. So they go to a restaurant, and along with these friends is Deborah. Now, Deborah is the girl that alleged that Chris had been flirting with her. And to make things even more messy, Ashley invites Giselle to the restaurant so they all talk a little bit about michael and ashley's divorce for a quick minute but the real reason that they were together was to discuss chris so deborah starts saying that in the spring fling chris started to flirt with her that he said that he uh, something about his name that he had googly eyes and if it wasn't bad enough she then starts to smear eddie Wendy's husband and says that even he was acting really flirty with her. Now, luckily, production on this episode, they showed footage of the party and they showed those specific times that Deborah claims that each of them said those things and it was all a lie. Everything that she said is not true. So, even though from what we've seen, We as fans may say that Chris or Eddie would never do that, but we can't really put our hands on the fire. But luckily, this footage really does vindicate them and proves that this friend Deborah is a liar. So Ashley says that she feels like if Eddie is in it, that she should probably mention it to Wendy. Now, when she said that, I thought, well, that's not going to go well because we know how Wendy acted last time they said something about her husband. But she says that she feels like she has to. So speaking of Wendy, the next scene in the episode is Wendy and her family. You know, she's trying to figure out how to kind of have a new lifestyle a little bit, not being so busy, not having so much on her plate because of her surgeries and because of the conversation that she had with her mother. So that's still a little bit new to her. I always like seeing scenes with Wendy's family because it it looks like such a healthy, happy family. Now, Ashley did in fact, mentioned to Wendy all these rumors about Deborah. Now, luckily, Wendy didn't freak out. She didn't get mad, but she asked 
Ashley, so what is the claim here? What is the problem? And even Ashley didn't really know. So she said, well, I guess that Eddie was smiling too much. So then Wendy talks to her husband about this and says, well, this girl says that she felt uncomfortable that you were being flirty because you were smiling. And I feel like they both knew how crazy it was for them to say something about him smiling so much, which which is probably why Wendy didn't get so angry about it. And they actually even laugh about it, like, oh, I can't even smile enough. You know, I feel bad for the husbands in this show. I'm going to make sure that my future wife is never on a housewife show because it looks like they want to make the lives of the men impossible. They want to tear them down. They want to tear down these marriages because, I mean, not, he, they can't even have a conversation because they're being accused of being flirty. So I feel bad for them. But again, I'm glad that Wendy and Eddie are really unbothered by all of it. Next, Mia meets up with the green-eyed bandits. So, but before that, Karen actually met with all the group. And all the things that Mia had been saying, all those promiscuous things about Jacqueline, about Peter's girlfriend, well, Karen carried the bone and told the entire group. So now, Giselle and Robin wanted to go directly to the source and ask Mia, what, like, what's the root of all this? But they specifically want to know, why did she keep the fact that her and her husband messed around with Peter Thomas's ex-girlfriend? And then Mia starts saying that they actually messed around with her on their wedding week, which is super crazy. And again, every time Mia talks about these things, just because she, she lies so much and she says it like really awkward and like she's laughing, it just makes it really suspicious. She did say, though, however, that she's not cool with Peter Thomas's ex-girlfriend anymore. And she's also not okay with the fact that Karen went and told them what she said to her. She's feeling a little bit bothered by that. So she says, I don't like that she did that. How would she feel if I told everyone the real reason that she doesn't like Sharice? So, of course, Giselle and Robin, knowing how nosy they are, they wanted Mia to tell them, but she didn't. So finally, the day arrived for the evening with the Grand Dom event and everybody is getting ready to go. Giselle walks in and she's already hating and you know she's being a hater just because she is a hater not because there was really anything wrong with Karen's event from what she could tell. I mean the tables were set up nicely. She had she even had drinks like named after her. So for it being her first show I thought it was really put together really well. So more of the women started to come and more guests And then Ashley gets there, and for some reason, she brought Deborah. So the whole cast is there, except Cherise, because she actually wasn't invited. And then Candace arrives there with her mom. So they're waiting for a while before the show actually starts. So they're having some conversation, and Ashley tells Mia again about the conversation that had been had about Karen and her telling everybody else what Mia said to her. So once again, this makes Mia really angry. I also got to give it up to Karen because she actually had a very good amount of people. I mean, from what they showed, the place was pretty much full. The last one to get there, of course, is Robin, who is always late. But as she's getting there, she turns around and she sees that Deborah's there. So she tells Candace, did you see who's there? That's the girl that has been accusing Chris. Surprisingly, Robin is not okay with this. She doesn't think that it's right for that friend to be there and even tells Candace pretty much that she's on her side on this. And then the show finally begins. So Karen has different acts and she has different guests. And because of this, they're all babbling because there were all these guests and they didn't know what was going on. She was the host or what. But it looked like everybody else besides them was having some fun. Karen was coming like occasionally taking the stage and then she took it once again to do a Q&A. So everybody was asking questions. And because Mia was upset at her, she took the opportunity to ask a question to Karen. So she gets the mic and says something to the effect of, what would you do if you share something to your friend and she goes telling everybody else? So Karen was confused. She didn't really know if she was talking about her, but she kind of had an idea. Now, because she is 
the grand dame, she kind of put her in her place and said, I mean, at the end of the day, it's true. So then Mia starts to get snappy at her and says, well, don't go around telling people or whatever. But of course, Karen is, this is her show, so she's not going to start fighting. So she says something to like calm them down. So then after a little bit more, the show ends and it's really successful. And then Ashley, who is also really messy, goes up to Candace and tries to introduce her friend, Deborah to her but Candace knows exactly where this is going so she says no and she moves right along but then Ashley she knows what she's doing so she keeps on insisting and then her friend Deborah says do you want to talk personally and Candace said no thank you and she gets out of there I think that Candace did an amazing thing by not giving that lady any time any energy because she knows that they wanted to create a moment Giselle and Ashley were probably dying to have them fight or to have them confront each other, but Candace knew how to shut it down and keep it moving. And then the episode ends, and we get a sneak peek of what's to come because we are midway through the season, guys. So what's to come is really, really, really interesting. We're going to get the cast trip to Mexico where so many things are going to go down fights with Mia, Jacqueline, Cherise, Karen. Everybody's going to be in it. So I cannot wait for these new episodes that are going to come out because they're going to be super good. This episode, I feel like it was good, you know, coming back because we had been off for a week. So I feel like it was a pretty good episode. But I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about Deborah? Do you agree with me that Candace did a good thing by not even acknowledging her? And also, let me know, how are you guys feeling about Mia? Because I feel like she's kind of burning her bridge with Karen a little bit, like, by being smart with her. Because we know that she burned her bridge with Jacqueline. So, if she ends her friendship with Karen, she's really going to have no friends on that show. So, like I said, let me know in the comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe so we can be here talking about all of our favorite reality TV shows. Things are going to get super good, and it's a new year. So, thank you for watching. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time.